Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakha Hakodash, <clears throat> which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barakha Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's your brother Mathati out of the Great Millstone um, uh, camp, the branch out in Des Moines. And um, I'm not sure of the title of this uh, lesson yet. You know, um, Spirit will give it to me, you know, when we get ready to upload the video. But um, just sitting, meditating on different things, man, and just meditating on. You know where the spirit is moving us at this present time, man. It's it's moving us to uh, to grow more in the spirit, man. It's moving us to be even that much more blameless, even that much more unspotted. Matter of fact, we'll start with that. Um. It's a good one. This is Second Peter. Matter of fact, it's gonna tie into the, to the first scripture I really wanted to bring up. But um whew. let's start with this. This is uh Second Peter three and ten. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall and that's why we have to be on our watch, you know. Because the Lord the Lord is gonna come when we least suspect it, as the scripture says. So we gotta make sure that that, that we're doing uh, um, matter of fact, what does what does the Lord say? I have scriptures written down, but you know the the, the Spirit do what it do. <clears throat> this is um Luke twenty one and thirty six. It says, "Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy." To escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man, you know, to account it word judge worthy to deem entirely deserving, Woo! you know, and, and that's what we're hoping to be. We hoping to be found worthy to escape these things. We're hoping to be found worthy to stand before Yahweh Shai. We're hoping to be found worthy to hear. Well done, my good and faithful servant to be able to receive those crowns from the from, from the from the Lord's right hand, man, you know. But what what must we do in order to obtain it? Let's go back. This is a uh, second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burned up, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? So what manner of persons? Let's get that word manner. It says from from what country, nation, or tribe? Who? And the scripture says what? It, it speaks about how our conversation is in the heavens, meaning our citizenship is in the heavens, man. So walking with, with, with that godly mentality, walking with that royal mentality, walking with that 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 spirit of wisdom, which Lord willing, we're gonna we're gonna go into that. We're going to go into the fruits of wisdom and what and what the spirit of wisdom uh, uh, brings out of us or, or what it should give unto us to add to our character, to add to our manner of life, how we ought to walk and how we ought to be. Right. So let's read this again. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, that this earth is is is, is going to be turned right side up. Right. That great destruction is on its way. Right. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And as we know, that word conversation means our manner of life, our behavior. And it's just not when the camera rolling. No, it's much more when, 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 when we're in our everyday life, man, when those cameras are not on us, man. Our decision making, when we out and about amongst these uh, uh, um, um, Gentiles, amongst these people of the world, how we deal with each other, right? Verse 12. Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the most, uh, the most high, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. 
Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's what we're looking for. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And that's what the spirit is focusing on. Starting with Apostle Haron down. It's, it's moving us to be more blameless. It's moving us to be more, more, more in the spirit of wisdom. You know, to conduct ourselves wisely as our king did. As it says, he moved wisely in all his ways, man. In the book of 1 Maccabees, the second chapter, uh, starting at, I believe it's the 48th verse on down. It, um, Matthias, he encourages his sons, Judas and Jonathan and so forth. He encourages them by reminding them of the things our forefathers did in their times. And he mentioned about how King David inherited the throne because he was merciful, man. And that's the spirit that, 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 that has been pushed upon us now. About uh, uh, um, uh, the ad hominems, like, like, like uh, uh, Apostle Gabar did the lesson on, you know. That if these dog, if these guys don't get right, then, then then hey, that's them, man. We ain't gotta insult them, their character, or or, or whatever, man. We gonna touch on the doctrine that they going off on and, and, and leave it at that. If they repent, hey, the wadi how about sham yao sha? If they don't, they gonna be destroyed, like the scripture says. But for us to walk holy, right? For us to be blameless is verse fifteen. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which awesome hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. Right. So let's be diligent to make sure that we're applying uh, uh, the things of the spirit. You see, verse 18, this is the point I wanted to get. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shahamashiach, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. <laughs> So that's the key thing right there, man. We have to continually grow in grace and in the knowledge. This is living water. So we should constantly flow with that water. We should constantly increase and grow through the spirit. Being better men each and every day, better husbands, better sons, better fathers, better brothers, better, better servants unto the Lord, you know, so forth and so on. And not just the men, but, but, but women also, man. Growing in the grace, growing in the knowledge. Understanding the will of our Lord, understanding uh, uh, the fruits of the spirit more and more. And from there, I'm keep mentioning the fruits of the spirit. Let's get it. This is the book of Galatians. <clears throat> Five. I start at 19. It says, now the fruits of Salaki. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, Hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, right? And the spirit had me look up strife. And within this word strife, it says uh, electioneering or intriguing for office. It says, <clears throat> apparently in the New Testament, a courting distinction, a desire to put oneself forward, a partition and fractious spirit, which does not disdain low arts. It says, which does not disdain low arts. And then when you go into it, that word ought also means, just get straight to the point, manner or mode. So having that, so having that, that spirit of strife, having that spirit of going back and forth, they don't disdain, meaning they don't, they, uh, they're not ashamed to use low tactics or low manners, man, or, or low blows, so to speak. See, these are, are, are very low life people, man. You see, and these are works of the flesh. And these are the things that we should be killing. So we don't want to be found as such uh, 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 like this, man. Verse 21, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, they that, Salakia, so like they that, Oh, it's like it. that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. You see, so we got to uh, 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 kill off 
all those uh, traits of the flesh, man. All those works of the flesh more and more. You see, because each one of us still got those traits within this body, man. Being in this body of death. That's why it's a battle. And that's why we have to fight to make sure that we're being found blameless. That's why we have to fight to make sure that our decision making is according to the spirit. Not being rash with our tongue, not being rash with our actions, you know, but thoroughly thinking things through according to the spirit. We have to move in, 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 in a righteous way, man. And it all starts in our mind, you know, verse 22, it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness temperance against such there is no law so those are fruits of the spirit man that, that, that we must show forth in our everyday life man in our everyday life you know now there's a balance like it says in, in, in the book of ecclesiastes there is a time and place for everything you know but we should exude fruits of the spirit in our everyday life man verse 24 and they that are Yahweh Shai's have crucified the flesh with the affections and the lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. From there, let's get um. <clears throat> the book of wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 22. It says, for wisdom, which is the work of all things, this is the fruits of the spirit, taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit, one only, ma one only, manifold, subtile, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things and going through all understanding pure and most subtile spirits man learning how how Yahweh Shah moved in his day-to-day -day life more and more there's times where Yahweh Shah got mad and got angry and cussed people out right but when we read the scriptures how did he deal with the masses how did he deal with the people for the most part, he showed mercy upon the people. For the most part, he 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 was out there uh, uh, healing, you know. But it's it's it's, it's just to sh uh, 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 to show like we we just gotta be better, man. We just gotta be better in our everyday life, you know. We don't have to walk around being just angry, just just being this this this, this big ball of emotion, mad as hell all, all the damn time, man. We ain't got to be that, man. It says the fruits of the spirit is joy and peace. We have comfort knowing that these things is at an end. Knowing that we got so, such great riches, man, that we have this faith, this knowledge, you know? And once again, of course, there's a balance. There's a balance. It's going to be times where, where, where you're, going to be, you're going to feel angry. You're going to be mad. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Lord, how long shall we be within this situation? Hastening in a day. Praying that the Lord uh, comes back speedily, bring judgment upon this place. But it's a balance once again. One of the fruits of the spirit was temperance. That word temperance goes to a balance, which goes to what self-control, being able to control those emotions, being able to control those thoughts and those feelings. You see? Just being better men all over, man. Overall. And I had more scriptures through the spirit. You know, um, matter of fact, I am going to hit these scriptures. This is the book of, uh, cause I feel the point was made, but <coughs> so like you. this is a uh, second Corinthians six and one, it says, we, we then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of the most high in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in, in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So our, our, hey, our salvation is nearer than what we believe. So hey, we got to make sure we're being found blameless, man. Make sure there's no guile in our mouth, right? Make sure that we're actually applying the things that we're speaking, that we're teaching. 
Verse three, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. We represent the ministry. We are walking epistles. <laughs> and the scripture says that, man, we are literally walking epistles. We are ambassadors, meaning what? We are represent, rep, rep, representatives of the gospel. We are representatives of Yahweh Shai. Not just when the camera rolling. The scripture says we are surrounded with such great a cloud of witness, man. You'll be surprised the people that recognize you and know you. But yet you out in your everyday life living like a nigga. Doing niggerly deeds, right? That's a, that's that's that, 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 that's that's a shame on the ministry. That's why we, we should be growing in grace, man, each and every day. It says, verse three again, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of the most high in much patience and afflictions and necessities and distresses and stripes and imprisonments and tumults and labors and watchings and fastings by pureness, right? By knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned. Meaning what? True, sincere love. By the word of truth, by the power of the Most High, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. You know? So just walking, approving ourselves as the ministers of, of, of the Most High. To place together, you know? To stand near, to constitute, stand with. You know, just just wanted to uh, go into that word, you know, but uh, uh, standing together with the ministers of the most high, man, approving ourselves as the ministers of the most high and all things like the scripture said. From there, let's get a uh, Philippians. This is the book of Philippians 2 and 12. It says, well, for my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The fear of the Lord is our treasure. It says a wise man will fear in all things. Fear of the Lord is wisdom. Our king moved wisely in all his ways. So that means King David thought and feared in all things, man, to make sure he wasn't offending against the Lord. And it's the same thing with us to the best of our ability. Because we have an example, we have examples of, of our righteous forefathers, you know, falling short, man. But yet striving to do what's right continually. So we going to fall short. We going we to fuck up. But the point is getting back up and striving to go harder even more. Verse 13. For it is the heavenly father which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So it's the spirit of the Lord that's in us to perform these things, man. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the heavenly father, without rebuke, right? In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. So we're in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. So how much more should we make sure that we're shining that light, man? How much more should we make sure that we're doing what's right in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai? You see? Because the Lord, the eyes of the Lord is 10 times brighter than the sun. So even when the camera's not on us or we're not around the elders or the head brothers, we're in the comfort of our own home or we out at the store or we at work, the eyes of the Lord is still on us. And we still represent the Lord in those moments. So how are you conducting yourself in those times, man? Because the scriptures tell us how we should, right? Um, I'm going to read verse 16. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Yahweh Shai, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. So Paul is like, look, making sure like, no, you you living up according to the word that I'm not teaching you in vain and I'm not speaking these things for nothing, man. So that we may all rejoice together. You understand that we all may receive that salvation, you know, but from there, let's get um the book of first Peter. Chapter two, and let's start at 12. It says, I'll start at 11. It says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, 
having your conversation, what's that word conversation, our conduct, our manner of life, once again, having your conversation honest, let's get that word honest, beautiful, handsome, excellent, surpassing, ooh, surpassing, our conduct, our manner of life has to surpass these, these regular people, man. Eminent, precious, useful, suitable, commendable, <laughs> beautiful to look at, Good, excellent in its nature and characteristics. Of, that's the fruit of the spirit, you see. And therefore, well adapted to its end. Man, praiseworthy, noble, honorable, morally good. Man, man, it's a heavy definition, man. Valuable or virtuous. <sighs> So it says having our conversation honest, right? Beautiful, come uh, uh, surpassing, right? Having our conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High in the day of visitation. So with, with these other camps, right? Even though they speak against us as evildoers, we're rapists, we're, 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 we do all this matter of wickedness according to them, right? But yet our conversation, our manner of life, how we conduct ourselves is according to the gospel, is according to the fruits of the spirit. So peradventure, the Lord might grant them repentance, man. So they are going to glorify our heavenly father in the day of visitation. You see? Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, what is that? Um, Second Timothy. I believe it's two. This is Second Timothy two. In 24, it says, and the servant of the Lord must not strive, right? Fight or arm combatants. I was saying if it was the same word as a uh, strife in that Galatians 5. It says, was it was that the word in the Galatians 5? Let me let me be sure. I'm sorry. Yep, it was strife. That's the word. Yeah, okay, it's two different words. But uh, back in 2 Timothy 2 and 24, it says, And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, but gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if the most high peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. You see? So having our, our conversation honest, making sure that we're being found blameless, making sure that we're walking in the fruits of the spirit to the best of our ability. You know? I ended off on this one. This is the book of Titus. Two and six, it says, young men likewise exhort to be sober minded, meaning whole minded, man. Having having a sound, a whole a healthy, right mind. And that's what? According to the spirit, walking in the spirit. Verse seven, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you. And that's truly being found blameless and without spot, man. And that's what the spirit is working uh, 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 toward us on, man. Or is working through us to perform. You know? As the days get, uh, get closer, as we see these prophecies popping off more and more. As the day of our Lord approaches, man. The spirit is going to require us to grow in grace and knowledge more and more, man, to kill off old men and old deeds more and more, man. To show forth the fruits of the spirit more and more, you know, so Lord willing, I pray and hope that was edifying to water. Yahweh Basham Yahweh for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Baruch HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, salutations to you brothers, you few sisters that may be watching as well. Shalom. The Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom.